Welcome back to a, another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Always appreciate you swinging by the channel and taking the time to uh, watch a video. Uh, tonight, today, whenever I upload the video, um, I am going to feature some of the, uh, actually all of the offerings from my uh, latest so year haul. Be sure to look for video reviews coming out uh, on these. Uh, probably after uh, after Christmas time, I'll probably start rolling them. I'm going to start recording them before then, but I will start posting them probably after Christmas. Um, except for like three of them here because I picked up three new Christmas offerings. Winter offerings, seasonal offerings, whatever you want to call them. So I thought I was done. Then I went in and I seen a few more Christmas beers. And I was like, you know what? Let's just grab them, record some videos right up until Christmas. So, uh, number one here is Santa's Cookies from Champion Brewing Company. It is an imperial spiced oatmeal stout. Got some cool festive Santa Claus artwork on there. Uh, these guys are uh, out of Charlottesville. Is it Charlottesville, Virginia? Yeah, Charlottesville, Virginia is where they're out of. I've had some from Champion. Haven't had this one. One from Cleveland, Ohio at a Masthead Brewing Company. And this here is their Slay All Day IPA with spruce tips. And it is uh, coming in at 7.5% alcohol by volume. And the uh, Santa's Cookies was 8%. And then I got one out of Urban Artifacts, Misrule. And this here is a chocolate cranberry goza so these are three additional bonus christmas beers i'll be doing uh doing this year have those up before christmas and then we're gonna roll into right after christmas so um over at the brew house i picked up um, a couple different ones here so one called volcano sauce and this here is a sour ale brewed with blackberries blueberries milk sugar and vanilla and let's see here six percent alcohol by volume and this is aslan beer company and first weissick sorry collaboration so i'm gonna do some more research on that try to get the correct pronunciation of the names haven't heard of either one of these breweries but man i was hooked Sour L with blackberries, blueberries, milk, sugar, and vanilla. That was a no-brainer for me there. Whether I can pronounce the names of the breweries or not, I'll look into that before I do the review. I was psyched about that one there. I uh, also picked up uh, one out of The Brewing Project. Um, this here is their Slurp. Check that out. It is a uh, Imperial Stout with milk, sugar, raspberry and cacao nibs 5.6 percent alcohol by volume on this one here fantastic looking plus cool artwork on that puts me in mind of like the simpsons right there yeah, i don't know if that's i don't know if they're, uh, like something to do with them or not but then drecker brewing company uh this here is their brains blackberry guava lemonade double fruit smoothie sour right there that is some cool artwork this here just sounds awesome okay uh this is six dollars and sixty cents uh these other ones are four three four dollar beers two dollar beers something like that um this was a little bit more on the the, uh, the higher side of what i actually picked up today there and let's see here. I also got one out of Ellicottville Brewing Company. This is the Raspberry Truffle. Now, this sounds good right here. This is $4.20 for this one here. And uh, it looks like uh, they've used uh, Platters Chocolate Factory. I'm not sure where that is. Maybe it's in the New York area or something like that, just like they are out of. Uh, it says brewed with local chocolatiers. Rich, flavorful dessert L with decadent truffle chocolate and sweet raspberry very cool there seven percent alcohol by volume on that thing uh also got another one that looks fantastic this is five dollars and forty cents what i paid for this this i passed up a couple of times at jungle gems and today i was like you know what the hell i'm just gonna get it okay so this was kind of like a christmas present to myself right um that's what all this stuff is here today 
This is a lime apple berry puff tart. Blackberry, pineapple, and lime. And again, that is out of the uh, brewing project. And it's a sour ale with milk, sugar, blackberry, pineapple, lime, and marshmallow flavoring. Sounds fantastic. Uh, let's see here. Got, uh, oh yeah, peanut butter deja mou. Peanut butter deja mou. So clearly peanut butter, right? Milk stout with uh, cacao, uh, cocoa nibs, not cacao, cocoa nibs, peanut butter, and chipotles. What the hell? Can't wait to get that one right there. Uh, and it is, who, who did I say made this one here? Did I even say that? Uh, this here is, is it Hidden Springs? L Works, Hidden Springs L Works. Never heard of these guys. They're out of Tampa, Florida. Uh, then another in state local bad boy right here out of Grainworks Brewing Company, which I'm just becoming a huge fan of Grainworks. Uh, this here is their It's Peanut Butter Chocolate Time. It's a peanut butter cup stout. And it is 7.4% uh, alcohol by volume. Now that looks delicious, if I do say so myself. Start some of these over here. And another 16 ounce can is called Cow Cow Chocolate Milk Stout with Peppermint. Another one out of the Brewing Project is a Peppermint Mocha Cow Cow Chocolate Milk Stout. Chocolate milk stout with milk sugar, coffee, chocolate, and peppermint. Now this could almost fall but into my Christmas beers, actually. Maybe that's something I'll release between Christmas and New Year's, something like that. Looks delicious, as they all do. Otherwise, I wouldn't pick them up. And let's see here. Oh, okay, here. This isn't really a beer. They're calling it a malt beverage. Um, it's a Bloody Mary, but it's the uh, Frank's Red Hot. So that there, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to this. I don't drink, I don't think I've ever had a Bloody Mary in my entire life. So looking forward to this one here. And it's can, it's not gonna be like the real thing or anything, but pretty cool, right? Frank's Red Hot, right on the back. I put that shit on everything right there. Love the Eli Manning commercial, by the way. All right, let's see here. Uh, we got Rheingeist Brewing Company. This here is there crumb cake so Ryan Geist brewing out of Cincinnati Ohio crumb cake beer with coffee lactose and vanilla extract Strusel you can sip 7% alcohol by volume this is only two bucks uh, let's see here well, I got this one out of grain works this is a collab collab between two Ohio breweries the brew kettle I think they're out of Cleveland or Akron they're up north somewhere remember the exact city and uh, 50 West Brewing one that I really like out of Cincinnati Ohio and this here is oh you oh yeah an Athens tradition so we have brew kettle must be out of Athens Ohio sorry uh, Imperial stout brewed with hazelnuts and coffee very good very good looking beer uh, just got the I say Tony's on the coffee cup. I might have to do a little, little research, a little bit of reading on this. Find out, uh, cause I see hoof hearted coffee. I see, yeah, Heggie's nut shop on the back. I'm gonna have to do uh, a little bit of research. This is 11 percent alcohol too, by the way. That's no joke there. Uh, another one out of Grainworks. This one here, I am a Star Wars fan. I'm a sci-fi fan. I'm a comic book hero, comic book movie fan. You know, I'm a comedy fan. But this one here, out of Grainworks Brewing, this is their Imperial Black Lager, and it is coming in at 5.7 percent alcohol by volume. So you Star Wars fans, get ready for this one here, Luke. I am your logger. That's freaking cool right there. I am your logger. I don't care if this is horrible. This can is going to stick around for a while right there. Luke, I am your logger. Okay, then I stopped at another little shop, picked up like four more beers there. Uh, I've actually picked up the Urban Artifact uh, Key Punch um, Goza. I mean, it came out back in the summertime. 
Uh, but this year, I hadn't got to pick it up yet. Uh, it disappeared. A lot of them, you can get, find them on clearance, like Jungle Gyms or something. But uh, I was able, it's like a $1.27 or something a can. It wasn't hardly much at all, but I wanted to pick it up and try it. It's a goes. I'm sure it's still good. Key lime, what's the worst thing? Maybe it lost a little bit of that key lime uh, flavor to it. And then one out of Untitled Art. It's been a minute since I've done something from them. This is their Peanut Butter Jelly Imperial Stout coming in at a whopping 1-1, 11% alcohol by volume. So Untitled Art, I don't know if I've ever had a bad offering from them. And then uh, Fireworks and Karate from Flying Monkey Craft Brewery. This here is, it says, add punch to your IPA. Go ahead, hold in hand. This here, I'm going to do a little bit more research on this here. Uh, but uh, these guys are out of Canada. Um, but uh, this here, it's a margarita IPA. My God, killer artwork. Cool ass name to this. I'm a sucker for artwork. I'm a sucker for a cool name. A margarita IPA. I don't know, probably just a lot of lime and tar and, and lemon or something tartness in it. I have no idea. All I know, IPA fan, I like what goes in a margarita. Cool name, cool artwork. Should should be just fine, right? And uh, the last one I got here, kind of an older one. I hadn't, you know what? I haven't even seen this one around too often. Actually, this is the first time I've seen it around. So Schlitz, uh, since it says Schlitz, uh, since, what is that? Can't read the dates uh, when Schlitz came out. 1940? I don't know what it says on there, but this here is the Schlitz, the Bull Bold Lager. So just kind of, I just kind of wanted something like that. I thought it was cool. I seen it there when you pick it up, kind of like a throwback type of beer there. So, hey, hope you, uh, hope you like this here preview. Hope you um, tune in and watch some of these reviews. This ran way longer than I wanted it to. So if you skip through it, hope you know. Hopefully, you watch some of the videos. You watch a little bit of. If you skip around, hey, that's cool. Also, uh, if you're a subscriber, thank you very much. If you're not, why don't you think about becoming one?